Imagine you riding in a cabin, going roughly 200 miles per hour, with the clouds rushing past. After five to six days, you stop seeing blue skies outside your window, and instead see the curvature of the Earth's surface amid deep black space. No, it's not an airplane or rocket. You're riding on, but a space elevator. Space elevators, vehicles designed to take us in and out of space using a cable instead of rockets, have been talked about by scientists for centuries, and are coming closer and closer to becoming a reality. Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today we explore the wonders of science and technology. The Space Elevator Project. Buckle up. As we take you on a thrilling journey into the future of space travel. In this video, we will explain what a space elevator is, how it works, its potential benefits, and the current progress in making this ambitious project a reality. So, let's dive in. Understanding the Space Elevator The concept of a space elevator may sound like science fiction, but it's actually a fascinating idea. That has gained serious attention from scientists and engineers. Simply put, a space elevator is a colossal structure. Designed to transport people and payloads from Earth to space. Using a cable-like tether. Unlike traditional rockets that rely on powerful propulsion systems, a space elevator uses a combination of Earth's gravity and centrifugal force to achieve lift. Space elevators are not a new concept. The idea for a space elevator was first put out by Konstantin Tsiolkovsky, a Russian scientist who was inspired by the Eiffel Tower to build a structure that could extend all the way into space. In 1895, he published his initial theory about a tower entering geosynchronous orbit. He gazed at the Eiffel Tower and imagined it stretching into space. His daydream became the first pitch for a space elevator. He imagined a tower like that could carry cargo to geostationary orbit, the height at which satellites can sync their orbit with Earth's rotation, 35,786 kilometers above sea level. As objects ascended the tower, they would gain horizontal velocity from the Earth's rotation and could use that speed to launch into orbit. Let's break down the working principle of a space elevator. Now imagine this. Take a piece of twine and tie a stone to it. Start spinning this primitive slingshot. Under the influence of centrifugal force, the stone will pull the rope tight. And, what will happen if we fix such a rope at the Earth's equator? Stretch it far into space and hang the appropriate load on it. Calculations show that. If the cable is long enough, the centrifugal force will stretch it in the same way as a stone stretches our twine preventing the load from falling to Earth. After all, the Earth's gravitational force decreases in proportion to the square of the distance, and the centrifugal force increases. With increasing distance. And as high as an altitude of approximately 42,000 kilometers. The centrifugal force will be equal to the force of gravity. This is how long should be our rope to the cosmos. 50 or even 60,000 kilometers. And a quite considerable load must be suspended from it because the centrifugal force must balance the weight of the rope. Almost 40,000 kilometers long. But if this is done, there will be a direct cableway from Earth into space. It looks like. At the base of the elevator. A massive anchor point is securely attached to the Earth's surface. It acting as a counterweight. Extending upward into space is a super strong cable. The cable is tens of thousands of kilometers long, reaching beyond geostationary orbit. By spinning the cable around its center of mass. The centrifugal force created keeps it taut and stable. But, the biggest challenge of building a space elevator may be the 100,000 kilometer long cable. It would have to be incredibly strong to handle the gravitational and centrifugal forces pulling on it. The steel used in tall buildings wouldn't work for a space elevator cable. You'd need a higher mass of steel than all the mass in the universe. Instead, physicists are looking to carbon nanotubes. Carbon nanotubes are one of the strongest materials we know about. The structure of carbon nanotubes resembles a chain-link fence that's been rolled into a tube. Instead of being made of wire, carbon nanotubes are made only of carbon atoms. The strength the cable would need to have a strength of around 63 gigapascals. That's a huge number, thousands of times higher than the strength of steel. The strength of a massive cable, though, would not only depend on the material used, but also on how it is woven. Furthermore, the construction of such a massive structure in space poses engineering and logistical hurdles. 
However, progress is being made, and several organizations around the world are actively working on prototypes and conducting experiments to overcome these challenges. Another problem is that the space between geostationary orbit and the Earth's surface is littered with space junk and debris. Solutions include cleaning up near Earth space or making the orbital counterweight able to dodge obstacles. The space elevator offers numerous advantages over conventional rocket launches. First and foremost, it dramatically reduces the cost of space travel. Rockets are incredibly expensive to build and launch, but a space elevator eliminates the need for massive amounts of fuel, making access to space more affordable and sustainable. Additionally, it allows for larger payloads and opens up opportunities for space tourism, asteroid mining, and scientific exploration on an unprecedented scale. Repairing malfunctioning spacecraft, instead of entirely replacing them, this would reduce waste and save valuable time and resources, especially for telecommunication companies. Moreover, it is eco-friendly approach to space. A space elevator is an environmentally friendly concept that offers significant advantages over traditional rocket-based space launches by utilizing electric power, renewable energy sources, such as solar or wind, the space elevator minimizes reliance on fossil fuels and reduces carbon emissions associated with rocket launches. Moreover, it enables reusable vehicles, reducing waste and pollution caused by disposable rockets. The space elevator presents a sustainable and efficient alternative for space transportation, aligning with our goals for a greener future. Travel on a space elevator would not be fast. The travel time from one end to the other would be several days to a month. To put the distance in perspective, if the climber moved at 300 km per hour, it would take 5 days to reach geosynchronous orbit. Because climbers have to work in concert with others on the cable to make it stable, its likely progress would be much slower. Safety risks. The space elevator would have to withstand extreme environmental conditions, including high winds, micrometeoroids, and radiation. A failure or damage to the tether or climbers could lead to catastrophic consequences. Ensuring the safety of passengers, cargo, and the overall structure is a significant challenge. As the technology advances and we overcome the hurdles, the space elevator holds the potential to revolutionize space travel. Imagine a world where regular trips to space become as commonplace as air travel. The space elevator could be the gateway to a new era of exploration and discovery. With its ability to transport people, supplies, and equipment efficiently, we could establish permanent habitats in space, conduct extensive research, and even lay the groundwork for future missions to other planets. There are several companies and organizations that have expressed interest or actively working on the development of space elevators. Mainly, Obayashi Corporation. The Japanese construction company has announced plans to build a space elevator by 2050. They aim to use carbon nanotubes for the tether and climbers. It's important to note that the concept of a space elevator is still in the early stages of development, and significant technological challenges need to be overcome before a fully functional space elevator can become a reality. And that's a wrap on our journey through the space elevator project. From its mind-boggling concept, to the potential it holds for the future, the space elevator has captivated the imagination of scientists, engineers, and space enthusiasts alike. While we may still have a long way to go, the progress made so far gives us hope that one day, this ambitious project, will become a reality. Thank you for joining us, on this exciting adventure. So, what's your thoughts on this space elevator project? Please leave it in comment section. And also share any of your own futuristic ideas like space elevator.